Hi, hello, good afternoon to all of you who listen to us from Europe. Good morning if you do it from the other side of the Atlantic. It's the second talk of the day in this uh, room to buy Dolibar. And we will receive right now Marc, uh, Marc Chantreux in the stage with us. So come on, Marc, just come, on, come with me here in the stage with your cam and mic, please. And uh, Marc will talk about support Snowden, save the planet, and fix the it so we'll see what is all about just mark okay and please activate your microphone and your camera okay it's coming <laughs> so perfect perfect thank okay. you very much Okay, thank so, you. So, just to remind people, if they have any question during the talk, they can uh, use the Q&A on the right part of the screen. And at the end of the presentation, uh, they can raise a hand and uh, come to ask directly the question here on the stage. So, thank you very much, Mark, to be with us here today, uh, this afternoon or this morning for US and Latin America, and just Go ahead with your presentation. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for uh, having me in uh, in Open Expo. I'm very uh, happy to be there. Okay. Um, I work as a flowers evangelist at Renater. Renater is a French uh, research and education network, which means basically we are the ISP of the French um, uh, universities and la uh, research labs and we provide connectivity as well as services for the whole uh, community of researchers um, and uh, we are now involved in uh, green IT I will uh, tell you uh, okay uh, at the in the late 16s we have the person we have the personal computing happening uh, for the universities it's a new uh, thing because we uh, we put the it out of the labs and we we sh we shift from the cooperation system between uh, to the competition system which mean uh, basically uh, we create uh, an open market and uh, in the 90s and late, late 90s we have the, we had the same with internet it was uh, universities uh, and and big companies um, hosting services and developing services for they for themselves and and providing support for themselves to a market share uh, with uh, service to, to uh, services to to buy right to sell and this is this was a very uh it changed the rules it completely broke and break and break the rules of how the it was built and but uh we were young then and probably if you if you're uh, old enough like me uh you probably remember uh the all the level of expectation we had about the it because uh we we are we are born with movies and shows like star trek and stuff like that and there is a lot of uh expectation about technologies and and probably you you heard about uh, the very beginning of uh, of uh, personal computing and 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 very astonishing system like Plateau like Amiga. Amiga was a, a groundbreaking uh, operating system and uh, and uh, hardware, and uh, we have all this magnet and miracles, and we uh, we moved the the, the humanity uh, f in a further. So so that's why we we become we we choose the IT right. We we wanted to 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 be a part of this process of um, moving the humanity for, uh, to the future. So we we had this um, improvement of the UI uh, all over uh, all uh, from time to time, right? But but finally uh, we have to to admit that 
what we do now is not very different to what we did uh, 20 and 40 years ago. It mean, it's mean we, we, we're still checking and sending a message. We, we are still reading the documentation. We are still uh, filling forms. And, and maybe we can, we can uh, ask ourselves why, why the market ended up to being dominated by IBM, Intel and Microsoft. Because obviously, if you, if you remember all those, those technologies from those uh, area, uh, obviously, uh, those, 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 there, there was so many uh, things that were much more exciting than what Intel provided. Um, Intel had no vision. Uh, IBM uh, had uh, basically uh, um, no idea about the personal computing and they uh, made it very fast just to, to create a market. So, so how come so uh, uh, internet, a decentralized system that uh, is neutral, that is open to everyone, became uh, became a centralized system, concentrated concentrated system uh, owned by the GAFAM. Basically, um, we should we should take uh, some some we should should think about it. And my vision of of it is, is okay. Steve Jobs' vision of it is simple. Uh, the most powerful person is in the world is a storyteller. They set the vision, the values, and the agenda of the entire generation to come. And basically, they add a vision of business. They provide business, and they sell. They sold computers. They sold uh, business services, and they deliver product very fast, as fast as possible. And to do that. We had to renounce uh, to to efficiency. I mean, I mean, uh, we know uh, we know we provide services. Uh, we can optimize a lot. We know we choose uh, system serializations that are not efficient, but uh, so uh, convenient to use. Uh, we know that we t took a lot of uh, security risk to provide uh, systems that are uh, usable by users without without explain, explaining how it works without uh, having to to do some education to promote uh, good uh, um, good behavior and actually uh, we 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 can't ha we 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 know that users were were not uh, happy when we tried to to uh, to educate them. Uh, we lost the we lost centralization just because it's so easier to maintain uh, uh, to 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 maintain a system uh, remotely uh, instead of uh, deploying instead of configuring instead of assisting uh, users uh, so we also lost user choice and we lost a, 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 a very uh, important um, opportunity to do education about the IT. So now if you take the new generation, they use IT everywhere, every time, but they don't even know what how it, how it works, right? And and we we always say uh, that uh, it's come it come with risk, right? And now years ago we have a prism uh the this Snowden uh uh this Snowden uh, case right uh and he 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 leaked a lot of things about what we uh try to avoid uh many years ago and he said if we don't stand up for your rights uh then we will but the pro the problem is uh how to come to to change the things? How to change the the, the the rules? No, because we are so engaged in this way of doing computers that it will be a lot of uh, 
uh, engagement for users to, to change those thing, things. Also, uh, we had uh, the COVID, right? Uh, it learned a lot, it, it, it teach a lot of, uh, of things about uh, computing, uh, computing. So, uh, for example, uh, if you are administrator, you have to, you probably soon seen that uh, decentralized system uh, were more resilient uh, than the centralized one. And um, we discover uh, that uh, the, our ears depend on the biodiversity and this is uh, very, it's urgent to, to talk about uh, the mass ex extinction. For those who don't know what it is, uh, uh, the, 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 the biodiversity is collapsing and, and at a very fast pace. So, uh, it will kill not only, it kill not only, uh, uh, billions of, uh, of, uh, human, uh, of, um, uh, live, uh, forms every day, but also it, uh, it will kill us if we don't uh, take uh, take the, the problem seriously because we need biodiversity to 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 avoid the zo uh, zo uh, zoonoses for example uh, to 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 provide food and everything we depend of, on this very uh, deeply um, so the problem is business models implied in implies fast pace and this implies low expectation. We, we think it's very high expectation because there was this process of uh, the computer evolved uh, day after day, uh, but, but, uh, but it evolved uh, in a way uh, we provide uh, user satisfaction, not uh, user needs. We didn't feel uh, fulfill user, with, with, uh, user needs and uh, without a, a, a big picture without taking care about um, uh, the planet and uh, the, the, the humankind af uh, at large. So uh, the problem is uh, business model implies business first. So we can't afford, we can't afford. I don't, I don't think people don't care about uh, everything. They d just can't afford uh to to talk about uh to to take care about every uh also things like the business because if you do if you do that uh some someone will will oversee you so we have to talk about this because we are digging deeper and deeper uh to 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 mine our uh metals to build computers uh, it's the estimation now it's uh, uh, 800 uh, kilos grams of rocks and and uh, to 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 extract um, raw, uh, metals uh, to to create one only one device right one electronic device uh, it's 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 astonishing and it's it's deeper and deeper because because the thing is we have uh, more and more uh, problem to extract this, this metal. For example, indium. There is a lot of metals involved in in the creation of a computer, and there is uh, less and less uh, metal available. So, indium is just an example uh, in in lot of them. But uh, check the facts and go to the internet. Uh, this the stocks are. Uh, are collapsing too, right? So, so we already know that in some decades there will be no more uh, metal. So, how to do the IT now, right? If we don't have resources to to create computers, how to do the ITs? And also, we have a problem of waste. All of this waste uh, if, uh, ends up to countries in Africa and. Uh, it's a, it's a environmental catastrophe, right? So think about that. One uh, half of the uh, pollution 
basically a half, right? Is uh, is pro is before uh, you open your, the box, right? As uh, the uh, extracting, uh, manufacturing, transporting uh, the devices to you is half the pollution. The oh, the other half is uh, is um, uh, three thirds, uh, one third for uh, the use of the terminals, computers, TVs, uh, ATMs, and stuff like that. One third is about uh, uh, comp uh, pr um, processing data to provide uh, data to users, and one third is about uh, uh, transporting the, the data on the network. Okay. Um, so, so what I said about metal, it's the same for uh, for oil. We we heard about uh, oil and, and fossils. We 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 run out of fossils, right? Uh, the the peak of oil uh, is the peak of extraction of oil is uh, uh, behind us. Uh, since I mean, I think. 10 years now and in in south in in 1970s uh the limit of the growth uh was a model uh was a, a study uh for the club of rome and they built a model uh which is war three and war three uh took data we already had at this point so the the gray part is what we had uh, when they built the model. Uh, they ran the model and then, then they saw that everything collapsed at some point, always, uh, no matter how you you arrange the, the variables. So this is, um, no, in, in 2010, we had, uh, we had uh, for, uh, 30 years uh, that uh, uh, fulfilled the, the the predictions, and so so we can't say that the predictions was correct. And okay, see if you see the future of the prediction, it's uh, it's awful for us. So uh, there is a, a problem, right? And the IT is ten percent of the energy consumption uh, in the world uh, global. Uh, uh, consumption so so it's about 10 percent because i told i tell you 10 percent 10 percent but uh some studies differ uh some are less but uh, some are also more um so okay so as i said um the 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 oil peak of extraction uh was uh in 2000 eight and and uh now we have less and less um uh oil and not only we have less and less but also imagine uh uh the re the energy return of investment is collapsing at the very beginning uh, in 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 90s in very beginning of 90s uh if you put one barrel of energy uh to extract uh, oil, you will get uh, a hundred barrel, right? Now it's about three, so so it's it's uh, the stock is collapsing. Uh, also, we t we heard about uh, uh, energy transition, right? Uh, green uh, green uh, energy and stuff like that. It's 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 not bullshit. I think many people think that uh, it 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 works, but uh, first, there is a lot of problems of pollution uh, because we we build uh, equip equipment uh, that are very uh, that uh, provoke a pollution. And also, if you check the facts, you can see in on this graphic um, the the fossils still remain a very large uh, part of our. Uh, energy consumption today in the in the world, right? So there is no 
uh, energy transition. We built new energy, uh, but but uh, they are uh, they are really uh, they don't do the difference. And also, we should stop to consume, but there is uh, this phenomena of uh, called the great acceleration. The great acceleration basically means uh, we have uh, we are more and more on this planet, and more and more are um, uh, can afford uh, um, um, industrial lifestyle, right? So, what it means is we are wasting uh, the the world resource uh, and at the pace that uh, grow up uh, every day. And if you search about the IT, it's uh, it's a center bottom, right? Telecommunications. We are this, okay? Uh, as I said, 10% of the global uh, energy um, is used by IT, which means uh, we are close to uh, civil uh, aviation, right? Uh, we 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 need uh, we need as uh, uh, as uh, as more as energies like uh, uh, as uh, as um, planes right it's it's astonishing so we have to fix it as this um, because even with uh, this is a French uh, um, this is a French uh, expert uh, group that provide uh, sobriety uh, uh, sobriety um, uh, plan and even even with a sobriety plan, we tr we we consume more. Uh, we will consume more in the is in, in the next decades. So we need a plan B, uh, obviously, uh, because what we are doing now is killing ourselves basically and 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 stealing uh, the next generation the right the 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 the, the, the possibility to to live in decent conditions and it will it will take a lot of lives uh, millions of lives in 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 some few years so we really need need to do something about that so this is about saving lives okay millions of lives so every bite matters now so uh, some of us tried with very simple facts so stop the iot because it will consume too uh, too much uh, so many data right uh, we can't afford the, you remember one uh, one third of the the global uh, um, consumption is about uh, carrying data and 5g and iot is what it means right it's about it will be about uh, transporting a lot of many data with a lot of new devices so uh, also people are thinking about uh, reducing the, the smart device and 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 come back to the uh, the old days when we had this uh, nokia just just to 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 receive and and call uh, video streaming is a problem okay and those other people um, just as the, the the thing that are discuss uh, that are uh, ongoing, but actually uh, some people think that it's not enough. Uh, remember, remember, do I don't uh, say do the maths, but uh, remember the the great acceleration. Uh, we can't afford those level of consumption. Uh, we have to reduce very brutally this thing, and. There is, uh, and also, we can't afford building uh, computers and devices or, uh, uh, over uh, um, because uh, we can't. We we have no more uh, resources to do that in some some uh, decades, right? So, so maybe we have to think about something very strange for us because. Everything is built on the thing, the, the 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 fact that everyone has only at least one computer for 
himself itself right himself right but actually i think it's not sustainable uh and i, I when i i say i think i don't i'm not i'm not the only one right so with we have to think about post, post personal computing because personal computing was the very beginning of the problem and we have to rethink the 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 services to focus and data and services delivery okay um so okay how to do that um we have to reshape uh the the uh, the, the the whole it the, the the digital world on ethics instead of desire and this is not a technical issue right we have a lot of we we all know programmers and and people uh, uh, involved in the IT, we d we all know that we have a lot of ways to improve the the system, but we need some time to optimize. We need to reshape the, our uh, our world stack. Uh, we need uh, our users to understand that uh, they will uh, not uh, ask for new thing again and again because it will be about uh, uh um, get the job done right not not provide uh provide um uh, uh good things to 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 users so i will i will go fast because i am very late okay so uh we are innovators right we have to convince them so remember steve jobs he, st he said that the, the storytellers are the 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 most powerful person. We have to be the the the, the, the storyteller tellers right now, because uh, it's about uh, giving a chance for the next generations, basically. So Renater, which is my employer, what do we do right now? Um, we decided to measure uh, our CO2 consumption on the backbone, on the service. We are auditing our tech stack. We are experimenting alternative services and we expect tomorrow to provide metrics on user by usage and inform. If you do that, you will consume uh, that amount of, of CO2, right? Um, we will promote and support low tech services by helping people to develop alternative uh, usage and service uh, and uh, clients. Uh, we will provide more regional peering. So uh, we will use uh, more, uh, more less routers to, to, pro to carry information. Uh, we will bet on decentralized services to, uh, to make the data uh, as close as possible as uh, to have uh, to your devices and uh, maybe we have to think about uh, user uh, point of presence is solution so because if we don't have um, personal computing anymore we we have to to recent, uh, to to reorganize um, a collective way to go uh, to 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 pro, uh, to produce and uh, consu uh, consume uh, digital uh, values, right? So we have to think about that. Okay, thank you very much. And I'm very open to the questions. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, oh sorry, I'm in yeah. some trouble. Maybe, John, you were uh, writing on the chat. I don't know if you want to say something to Mark. So, first of all, when I started in computing about 50 years ago, very simple computers would use thousands of watts of electricity that have to be water cooled. If cars are as efficient as computers are today, you'd be able to drive a car around the world on a cup full of gasoline. So, you know, you, you, you talked about limiting IOT. 
However, Itaipu, the world's largest hydroelectric plant, is looking at IoT to cut down on the amount of electricity that's used in people's homes. And so I think this needs to be the focus. I have uh, friends of mine who have computers, if you want to call them a PC, that are gaming systems that use over a thousand watts of electrical power. And the problem with that is that they leave them on and they continuously use a thousand watts of electrical power. In reality, what they really need is something that displays graphics very fast. However, the computation could actually be done on a server system far away and be shared with a lot of other people. So what we need to do is change the way that people think about computing. The Raspberry Pi, for instance, the newest Raspberry Pis, have just about the power of most people's desktop systems. The latest Raspberry Pi uses eight, has eight gigabytes of RAM. Um, you could substitute a Raspberry Pi for most people's use. That would replace their smart TV, it would replace their security system, it would replace a lot of things and save approximately 400, 450 watts of power. That's without controlling things like the refrigerators or microwave ovens and things like that, that could also help cut down on electrical utilization. So I agree with you that there's much we can do. For example, in my house, I've replaced all of my light bulbs with LEDs. And although the initial cost was greater than an incandescent bulb over the life of the LED, I will save hundreds of dollars of electricity usage. Um, you know, we, we need to move in that direction. And unfortunately, we have people based on profit motive who are keeping people from thinking about that. You know, and we need to change that. We need to get people thinking more about the types of things you're talking about, but it isn't necessarily IT that is to blame for it the use of electricity and other resources. Yeah. Um, okay. About, about the IOT, I was, I was, uh, you're right. You're, you're completely right. I was, uh, thinking about all these connected object, uh, ob uh, devices. We don't need, uh, for example, uh, smart, uh, smart, um, s uh, smart watches, uh, 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 all those uh, those IT that collect ex uh, um, um, cars, um, automatic cars, uh, it 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 uh, generates a lot of data just uh, to to do what we already do with uh, with just driving, right? We just have to learn to drive. So do we will talk so, about that for a little bit? Okay, because uh, it's been shown that autonomous vehicles, if they were all autonomous and all contr being controlled, would actually cut down on the amount of gasoline usage. Because right now we come up to a place, we stop at a stop sign, which uses energy to stop us. And then we start up again from the stop sign. But if the cars were all being controlled, the car would come up to the intersection and slow down a little bit as it approached it, let other cars go past and then continue on, stopping a lot less. We have a lot of overhead lights that light up the road because we have to see where we're going, but autonomous cars would not have to see that. And all the most that would have to happen is to turn on those lights as the car went past to make the people inside the car feel better, but not necessarily to steal the car. So we save a lot of electricity that way. There's so much that we would save through that autonomous cars. You know, never mind the fact of cutting down on the number of accidents. When you know, when we have all autonomous cars, I estimate that the price of insurance will drop dramatically. Will we still have accidents? Yes, we will. But the number of accidents we have will be much less because cars don't get drunk, cars don't get sleepy, cars don't you know, do all these other things. So we really have to look at this okay. more than just wave our hands and say, this is gonna cut down the stuff. The, the real, if you really focus on it, 
you find that a lot of these technological issues do save money. And that's why so many people are so excited about them. Okay. Okay. It's an interesting person and point of view. Um, um, for uh, I, I, I have no I have no numbers to back up my uh, this point particularly because uh, but uh, um, um, thing is uh, yes you can reduce the amount of of oil because uh, because of uh, better uh, management of the the speed the uh, computer, uh, the car speed right but to do that we have to uh, to exchange a lot of uh, of data behind uh, uh, between cars right to, to first of all we're still we're still talking about the best way of sending the data so as an example of that there was a there was a uh, system created one time to sense whether there were seats open on a bus. And so when the bus came up to you, if you got on board the bus and there were no seats left, that was bad. There might have been a bus right behind it that had plenty of seats. So they installed a camera at the front of the bus that scanned, constantly scanned the seats and transmitted that information back to the cloud. Huge amounts of information. Hmm. And because the bus was traveling a lot, they had to use cellular information rather than something like Wi-Fi or whatever. The cost of the data for one day more than paid up, paid for a personal computer that could sit at the front of the bus, process most of the data, and then just send out little blips that says seat available, seat not. Okay. Um, so, so where we send the data, how uh, much of the data we send, the stuff it should be looked at, and you're right. However, the the the, the ability, the, the the question of is it worthwhile to have that processing done? I think the answer is yes. <coughs> okay. Um, if you if you if you have any any uh, any uh, document or uh, study to back up this. Uh, Please send me uh, the, the the links because I'm very interested about it. This uh, I would have topic. to I would have to look um, because the, the thing with the bus like was done about a year ago, and I had information at that time, but I would have to research it again. But the you know the the, the concept of okay. do the processing locally. So what we're talking about here is what we talk about the edge of I, of IoT. Do the processing on edge of IoT. Okay. Don't send it all the way back to Google or all the way back to Amazon or wherever. You should have localized servers that do the bulk of the processing as local to the generation of the of the information as possible. Then send the minimal amount of information over the rest of the internet. And that's what you should be doing for almost everything. That's what you should be doing for, for control of your house. Why should Google have anything to do with your future? John, there, there is some crazy. problem with your, your okay. with your microphone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it seems that it's shutting a little bit. Yeah. Just uh, we we will finish in a few uh, minutes. Uh, Mark, can you please uh, uh, go down with the screen sharing on just to, to put it off? Yeah, put it off on the down, down part. Just uh, uh, yeah, okay. click on the share screen to put it off. Uh, and we just received yeah. Patchy. Uh, I saw that. Uh, and Philippe, he just, took just to let you know, you're chattering also. <laughs> Your mic is also chattering. Uh, uh, maybe it's a, it's a room, so maybe there is some trouble. Uh, I th I think it's uh, uh, on the John's part because uh, because I uh, it's okay. If, uh, I listen. To you very perfectly, John. I was I was very uh, honored to to speak to you. Uh, so thank you, John. Uh, Pachi, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, perfectly. I, I didn't mean to to enter the conversation or to interrupt. No, you. but uh, I saw that you I have two questions question. here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Mark has been mentioned is super yeah, sure. interesting, and I've always been thinking lately that we are getting too fast in everything nowadays no i mean i want to have the latest iphone i want to have the latest raspberry pi even 
So the cost of production is, I don't know, you mentioned a third or, or, or half of the energy consumption. I didn't get the, the, the correct uh, figure, but I think we should consider that, no? Uh, because uh, we are producing more and more products and even if they bring some improvements and, and they, they may save energy, save lives, save many things, as, as John said, they also have a cost to produce uh, and we are too eager to, to buy new things in general, but especially in IT. No? So um, this can apply to everything, to, to hardware, also to software. Uh, how much energy is spent on Windows updates or whatever, eh? Linux <laughs> updates. Uh, why are we changing software so, so fast nowadays? I understand it's because we like to produce it, but it's also a problem from the perspective of, of energy and, and human time using. No? This is a bit philosophical, maybe <laughs> too much. But I think it connects with what Mark said, no? It's just an open question. <laughs> I don't know if it's a question, actually. Sorry. Uh uh, I, I, uh, can, can you uh, can you uh, rephrase in, in, uh, the, the question in, in some few words because uh, you you gave us uh, some information and uh, we should consider uh, what, what the was exactly the question using the products as you said uh, also implies a lot of energy consumption yeah. so what is the balance between producing better products which maybe uh, consume less energy, but <laughs> uh, the fact uh, to produce them it means uh, consuming more energy. No? Oh, okay, uh, okay. Um, I, w I will not talk uh, about hardware because I, I don't know the process. But uh, I, uh, as software developer, uh, as you mentioned, uh, updating st uh, stuff like uh, uh, software uh, as a cost um, and uh, so slow down uh, slow down uh, the, the 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 release cycles seems to be uh, something to do also if we if we slow down the the release cycle because we uh, uh, maybe we can uh, introduce uh, uh, much uh, time for developer i don't I, I, I speak uh, in an ideal way I, as a developer uh, perspective. Okay, uh, I I came here because uh, I know we have a problem with uh, the rest of the society to understand that. But I really think we can do uh, um, much better software if we have more time. Uh, we can optimize a lot of stuff. We can provide better documentation. We can uh, we can rethink uh, the architecture the architectures to uh, to to be more greedy uh, on resources. We know we, for example, when when you provide um, when you install something with Docker, it it um, and you test the processes again and again, and you you download uh, the 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 package again and again we 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 need uh, there is a lot of ways to improve those those uh, things and the problem is no one pays or not no one but uh, we don't pay enough in those kind of optimization because it's infrastructure we can sell it to the users you can sell it as a product we need uh, this to improve our uh, work and the problem is no one wants to pay to improve our, our uh, work. Um, uh, people pay to, to improve the product. So, uh, but to reply to, to, to answer to the question exactly, I think um, uh, taking more time to, uh, to deliver a product that can uh, uh, last uh, more uh, it's is a way to 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 uh, to yeah, yeah, to save energy. Agree. It's uh, uh, for example, I, I think a slowdown is completely required. I, I think I think a lot about that lately. But I thought I was uh, 
like crazy for thinking that, no, because it's against any trends and yeah, it's not trendy. And I thought it was because I'm getting old. I don't know, uh, but I think uh, everything should be long-term service and hardware, software, everything, because we are getting crazy at these speeds. No? It's not about you getting old because uh, I, um, it was, uh, I mean, I think it was, uh, there was a, a trend uh, on the last, last decades to, 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 uh, to speed up uh, because it was about competition, it was about uh, selling the better, uh, best products and uh, uh, um, time was, was money. Um, but uh, I think that even the new generation is on uh, fatigue about that. Uh, they, they are, we are all tired about getting new things and over and over. And we don't, we can't, we learn something. And for example, the JavaScript uh, world is astonishing for me. They learn new frameworks every six months. And we saw, uh, we saw a blog post about, uh, about uh, people tired about uh, learning new technology over, uh, over and over. There are uh, new people entering. So, so, so the new ones are not tired. <laughs> so I think at some point we are doing something wrong, no? Because yeah. open source. So first of all, good, but at the same time, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. First of all, years ago yeah. we used a technique known as waterfall production, where you would study the project, you would, and, and you would release a new version of the product every year. The problem with that was that people didn't get bug fixes and new features that they desired for an entire year. And so people started to go in with what they called agile programming, agile development, where you release something early, you you got the, cover, the, the customer to give you feedback as to what they liked or didn't like, what they wanted, and then you made changes to it. And that is currently the way that most people do this and it's particularly easy to do and necessary to do when a lot of your product is typically web-based okay because if you don't have the ability to update it quickly with things like security bug fixes and performance bug fixes that it's more than just you fall behind in functionality you fall behind in performance for the customer. Mark, you want to say something? Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Um, um, uh, that's why we have semantic versioning, right? Uh, the thing is, uh, um, security fixes are patched levels, and there they should be provided as soon as possible. But uh, uh, slowing down the pace of, of new releases with new features and new things to learn. Uh, that's uh, what um, I, I work on the Simpa project and I, I realize how uh, people are demanding sl slowing down the process because they have no time to reinstall, no time to redocument, no time to uh, to to provide uh, new assistance for uh, the users, and and that's uh, that's uh, good for us because we can, we have uh, more time to to uh, to test, uh, more time to um, to provide documentation, to to add test suites, to 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 do better job. So. Uh, but uh, for me, security, okay, security issues must be fixed very quickly. What about performance? Uh, 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 performance, uh, uh, if, you, if you really have uh, some performance issues that can be fixed without breaking uh, 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 with uh, uh, ISO functionality, that's what we uh, should care about. And so, if you can uh, uh, create fixes, uh, patch level to uh, to improve performance, right? Okay, let's do it. But no new features. That's that's what I'm. So recently, I upgraded saying. my desktop system, um, and uh, put a new version of 
my Linux distribution on it. And as a member, as a member who's looked at in the Linux community as being the quote leader and stuff, I realized I had not updated my desktop version of Linux for three years. I was there was a whole major release hmm. of my distribution that I ignored for three years, only installing the patches which they gave me for performance, for security, and things like that. So there's many people who install a version of free software Linux, as an example, and all they install are patches. They install the long-term support package of it, and that's all they do. However, when I did install my new version of Linux, I found out that for the same distribution, there was a whole series of new applications that were available of new functionality I didn't know about because I had installed the new system. Now, it's interesting that you've brought up Steve Jobs twice. I happen to think of somebody else who died the same week of Steve Jobs, Dennis Ritchie, who invented C, who invented was a co-inventor yeah. of Unix, who hardly anybody paid any attention to his death. And I think part of the problem is that Steve Jobs was a brilliant marketing person. And and Apple, if you look at where Apple really took off, they moved from being a computing company into being a consumer company. And with consumers, what you want to try to do is convince them, like you said, convince them that they need by the latest and greatest widget. So it's not necessarily IT that's the problem. It's the marketing people. <laughs> and, you know, if you can figure out a way yeah. of maybe leveraging new functionality on top of everything that's gone before so that people can stay with the stuff that they have already and apply bug fixes and performance enhancements. So with performance, I have seen people install a performance enhancement and save 10% of their CPU. What that means is that Google, as an example, may not have to buy 10,000 servers. They'd only have to buy 9,000 servers. They wouldn't have to use 10 gigawatts of electricity. They don't have to use 9,000 gigawatts of electricity. Only 10% performance improvement, but that 10% is important. So we need to, you know, we need to have the two, the two functionalities, performance, security, and things that everybody needs that can be delivered in patches, like you said, but also the new functionality for things that we haven't even thought of yet that we need for to do business. And I think we have to blend the two of those. Yeah, thank you guys. I will need to to close the this conference. Okay, yeah. I just give you a couple of minutes because we will uh, go with Pierre Giorgio Lucidi at uh, six o'clock uh, Central Europe time. So, yeah. just a couple of minutes, guys, and uh, I will go on with uh, Pierre Giorgio. I will point out that the audio was fine until you came back, Felipe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, um, just to mention, I, I use Chief Job because uh, I know it's he was influential, but um, uh, for me, uh, it, he was a part of the problem, really. Uh, so, so uh, um, uh, you mentioned Dennis Ritchie, and I was completely, I, I'm completely agree uh, with you. Uh, everyone uh, missed his death, and 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 I was very. I, I wasn't sad. I was angry, right? Because he was one of the really uh, inventor of the, the computers uh, we use now. So uh, the software industry is based on C and and a lot of stuff uh, developed uh, developed at uh, AT and T. So there's no comparison between the two persons. Uh, but uh, okay. Uh, I would like to um, to 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 
we 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 don't have more time it's it's sad but uh we we have to think bigger we have to think uh, we talked about optimization uh uh release cycles and stuff like that but we have to think bigger we have to think uh what is the digital world without google for example without any uh, search engine we have to think about uh what is the new digital world if we don't have uh permanent connections anymore uh, what is the new digital world if we can't uh, afford uh, uh, a way uh, a way to access to uh, large uh, uh, silos of data? So I think we have to to think about it because uh, one or two decades is not that uh, that far, right? Uh, it will become it will be quick, uh, and we have to uh, we really need Plan B. If we if we don't if we don't take the, the the case seriously now, it will be very hard to to change the things in in something like ten or twenty years. It will be too late. So, I don't want uh, the IT to to become something uh, uh, for for uh, for only for technical people. I want IT to 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 serve the humanity the way it serves the humanity. Uh, 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 since it it exists, so we need to think about it. I think. Thank you very much. So, thank you very much, guys, uh, for your that's it. for your time. Thank you very much, Mark, uh, to be here. Uh, John, you just leave. So thank you very much. Right now we Thanks will again. go on in a couple of minutes uh, with. Uh, Pierre Giorgio Lucidi uh, talking about embracing open source approach for your adaptive digital transformation in this room. And uh, uh, you can follow in uh, room uh, Oracle uh, MySQL room, uh, migration analytics, accelerating the move to hybrid cloud through data-driven decision-making uh, with Miguel Perez Colino. So thank you very much, Mark, to be here today with us. Thank you. Bye-bye.